YouTube, it's me at your iPhoneCaptain.com, and we've been a little bit late getting this video out, but I did want to get this out there to you because it is important. As you well know, we are still waiting for the jailbreak, and hopefully, with the uh, all the developers working hard, this won't be too much longer getting here. But they are recommending that we save our blobs. And you might say, well, what in the fuck is blobs? Well, I'm here to share that information with you. And as you see here on the screen, I'm at tsssaver.com. Now, that is a mouthful, to say the least. Anyway, there are several other ways to save the blobs. And I'm going to skip all the bullshit and just get the easy way out there to you, because that's what I'm all about. I'm all about easy. Easy women, easy, easy, easy. The easier the better for me. But anyway, all you need to do is visit this link in the description down below. First thing I am going to recommend you do is, is you open your Dropbox. And you go in there and you create a new folder called Blobs. Now, this is going to help you later on. And it's very easy to do. All you got to do, is, like I said, just open Dropbox. And, and we're going to do this locally. The, you know, you don't have to do it online, uh, you, but, but, but you can. Either way, but we're going to do it locally on our device. What that means is on our machine here. We're not going to upload it right now. But anyway, you see what I did is I went in here and created a new folder. And I called that folder Blobs. And in that Blob folder, I already have one file, but that doesn't matter. They are suggesting that we actually save these four or five different times because it saves something different each time you save it. And in order to make sure you have the correct version later on down the line, they just want you to save them four or five times. So just do what they say and just do it because I said you need to and, and let that be, be it. So we have our blobs folder and we're going to go back to the uh, server, the TSS server, up here at the top where it says ECID, you're going to have to have your device connected and you're going to have to open iTunes. So let's open iTunes and we're going to go right up here at the top, click where it says summary, get all that juicy information. Right here where it says ECID, if you click that two or three times, you see that keeps moving. We want to go to where it says ECID and then we're going to right click on and copy. And now we're going to minimize this and we're going to come in here and we're going to go back to where it says ECID. Now there is a hex version and a DC version. I don't know about all that. If it doesn't work this way, try it the other. That's all I can tell you on that. Copy and paste that right in there. Uh, you can just right click and paste or control V ever how whatever floats your boat. Then go to identifier and yes, I am on an iPhone 6. Believe it or not, I'm ancient. Either way, select your device right here, and it does matter whether you're global or not. So you need to find that out if you need that information. If you don't know which device you have, I will link up a article on my iPhoneCaptain.com that tells you how to find out which device you have. But I know mine's simple. There's only one available. Choices is our limit for me. I, I'm going to click I'm not a robot because believe it or not, I am not a robot. Here, Billy and all, I am not a robot. Click submit. Now, click it one time and just give it a minute. Don't don't get your panties in a wad. It takes it just a minute or two, depending on the speed of your your uh, internet where you may be. And you see now it's down. It's done. It says I've saved ECID iPhone 7 2, and your blobs will be located at that link. Now, that link, if you want to save that link and use that link later on in case something goes wrong, that will be there as well. But I recommend that you click on that link and you download your blobs and you save them to Dropbox. Right here is where that comes into play. So you just click the little Save to Dropbox tab. Go down here where it says Location. You're going to choose your location. And it's going to give you a list of things depending on what you got in there. And you're going to choose blobs because remember, you're doing what I told you to. And you're going to click save to blobs. Guys, it's that simple. Success. Our blobs are saved. No 
15 space this, put in SD space, negative 1 space, negative SUD space. That's all bullshit. Do it the easy way and get it done and get on with your life. Guys, I hope this was helpful. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you aren't a subscriber, we would love to have you here. We try to do something at least two or three times a week. Hit that subscribe button before you go. We are having some giveaways. Check those out. I'll link them up with you in the description too. And keep coming back.